Hello everybody, it's me, it's me, it's DAB, the one and only, and welcome back to my Disgaea 2 LP. So for starters, one, um, I have been working really hard on video quality, and I'm recording straight from a PlayStation 2 that's just composite out. This is as good as I can make this look, so I'm sorry to go back to 480p on you guys. And this may very well be my last LP on my old PlayStation 2. If I might need to get new parts. I don't know. I think my AV cable's going bad. It's ancient. I've had this thing flicker on me twice in the setup. I think I've got it okay. We'll see what happens. Okay. Um, so really quick. Check my time. Okay. Archibald was too proper for me. He can be Archie. Name after my brother's dog. I don't like that fire weakness. We'll have to work on that later. Um, he's looking beefy. I used that one power belt on him. Red Skulls in Disgaea, when I play these games, they're always going to be named Ted. So this is his son, Ted Jr. And as I've said, I have been on a JoJo kick. So say hello to Arena, our healer. I know, I know. Wow. Okay, almost everybody's weak to fire. I'm like, Ted, if you're weak to fire, so help me. Phantom Blood may not be the most popular. I liked it. Before I forget. I got Adele and Rosalind new weapons, so they're looking pretty solid right now can do better. After we get through part one, I'm going to do some grinding, get items better for everybody. So, let's head on to the next stage. trying to lead me to Zenon's mansion? Absolutely. The path to an overlord is laden with suitable trials to overcome. It is a tradition. If you do not face challenges along the way, you will not fully appreciate your goal. Look, I'm not doing this for the satisfaction. I just want to fight the overlord. Bumpkin! Do you not appreciate beauty? Every course to an overlord begins with the beautiful art of leveling up. Oh, please! You don't even know how to fight! Am I supposed to believe that you know all this random, trivial knowledge? Of course! How can a noble better justify squandering time than with the pursuit of knowledge? And being a demon and all, you must have a lot of time to squander. Okay, so let's see what we're working with here. Enemy boost 50%. Is there a geo panel we can use instead? Well, there is. Adele? Um, Archie? Get Ted out here. I just want the bonus gauge right now, because you don't get shit for experience off of printies. Perfect. Ted, light it up, buddy. Ted got his level up. You know... I'm pretty sure there is a way to make that go by faster, but I for the life of me don't remember what it is. Arch is going to take a hit here. Or maybe not. Alright. Prinnies ain't looking too bad right now. Rosie, get out here. Shoot one in the face. And Arena, you are going to have one of the hardest times leveling up. Wow, okay. Well, no, not leveling up. Gaining mana is going to be her issue. Oh, you little turd. I think on turns like that, I'm going to not talk to try to speed stuff like that up and save a little time on the video. Because, first off... Shoot him. Get over here. Shoot him in the back. Say, you need to get your experience, too. 
She can also gain experience by, uh... There's no excuse for Adele to be level 2 while everybody else is leveling. She can gain experience by healing. Nice. Um... Might as well try to end it now. Just end the turn. Perfect. That should give us enough money to heal everybody back up to where we want to be. We got an open soda. A little extra hell. Some experience. Oh, if we only had gotten that common orb, we could have gave that to Ted to up his special. We will not skip the story. Overlord Zenon, my master. I have just received urgent news from the princess's mansion. The princess has disappeared, and it has happened in front of many servants. What? Is this true? It appears someone has summoned her. Someone with decent summoning skill. But who? How did they even know about the princess? We do not know yet. But it is obviously someone who opposes you. Find the princess. Immediately. You must not allow her to be contaminated by the outside world. Yes, sir. We will be sure to keep the princess a secret from anyone else. What shall you have us do with the guards at her mansion? Wipe them out. All of them. As you wish, my master. Alright, that's a thing. We got our first taste of Overlord Zen on there. Welcome back, Adele. Looks like the item world is ready. We'll worry about the item world later. It's just like it was in Disgaea 1. I'll explain it when I do it. I'll probably dedicate at least one episode to it, like I did before, in case anybody doesn't know about it. We can skip this. It doesn't matter. You can level up your items, make them stronger. Uh, you can do other things in this game. Heal real fast. Ooh, we got a prize? Take that common ore for it. Ooh, that is nice. Well, oh, get treated real quick. Um, before we get treated. Ted? I want you to have this... You know, really? Ted needs it more right now. He just does. Got another prize. Brawny Muscle. That's... Get some more hit points. I have to heal again. We will give muscles to Ted. Or to Ted. To Archie. Awesome. Alright. Let's tackle one more level and we'll call this episode. And even no story, that makes us even better. Alright, what are we doing here? Bonus experience. There's a treasure chest. We are going to want to get to that before we fight anybody. Alright, that is cool with me. So, first thing we're going to do... Rosie, you throw that there. How are we looking right now? That's pretty far. We can do something with that. Adele, you get up here. Ted? Should be just close enough to where we can burn it a little bit. We have a special now. We have triple strike. Cool. Burn. That's fine. Wow! Why did we miss so much? What is his ability? Uh huh. This guy can mess us up. We'll see what happens. Oh, that's bull crap. I mean, things we were going to get probably weren't that good in the first place, so I'm not going to really worry about it. And Arena's going to get to do her thing. Arena, heal him up. Now in Disguise 2, your healers can gain experience by healing. They could not do that in the first game. Let's try this again. Okay. First off, come here. You're a little closer to his height. Does that... Wow, why does that... 
Okay, hit him. Good lord, if nothing else, at least Rozzy can kill him. Should be dead now. Awesome. However, once again, unlike Desgaea 1, since her action didn't go through, she is allowed to move still. Archie, we need to get you in on some of this action, too. We are going to advance. We lost that treasure chest. It sucks. It is what it is. I don't want to do that. Alright, do a try burst. Dope. Alright. Let's get everybody in here now. Ted, you can be right there. Can you throw him three squares? Perfect, you can. Archie, get out here, buddy. And Russ, you can advance at least, if nothing else. Start getting everybody that sweet, sweet experience now. Adele is gonna kick his ass. Maybe split that. Hold on, let's try to split some experience with Rozzy. Eh. Ted, how far can you shoot your fire? It should be able to get that orc over there that hasn't been touched yet. Not quite, he can't. That's fine. Uh, she can, though. We'll call that turn. Nice crit. Really, Rosalind didn't get in on that. Crazy. Rosalind will get in on this one, though, so it's fine. Alright, buddy, what do you want to try? He's going to go for someone with a counterattack. Gonna attack Rosalind. You know what? He's weak to fire. Let Ted have his moment. Lift him up. Lift your friends. Ted, burn the orc alive. And we'll call this turn. That fight's gotta be over. Cell phones can be fun. We are not gonna skip the story, as I said before. Listen, you. Why do you desire to do something as stupid and reckless as battling my father? Do you actually believe you, a mere human, stand a chance against my father? Xenon's curse turned every human into a monster. He turned our beautiful world into some twisted netherworld. When humans turn into monsters, they start to lose their conscience and memories, eventually becoming real monsters. I grew up watching as my family slowly turned into monsters. Can you even imagine how painful that is? If my family becomes something truly monstrous, I won't let that happen! I will defeat Xenon! I'll do whatever it takes to protect my family. You may talk all you want, but do you honestly believe that? You won't even take any hostages, correct? But there's no doubt I'll defeat him! Yes, yes, you've declared that many times. But where does all your confidence come from? Tell me. Look at me! I'm the only one in Veldheim who hasn't turned into a monster, and I still have all my memories and morals. I'm the only human who hasn't been affected by Xenon's curse. That has to mean something. And? That's it. That's it? Your faith in defeating Overlord Xenon is solely based on that? Why? Is there a problem with that? It 
is more than just a problem. Are you so stupid you do not see it? Do you not have a better reason? Such as being from a heroic lineage or being level 100 million? Normal people usually have, you know, real reasons to believe they can defeat their enemies. Huh, I don't care. Not having a good reason to fight is just an excuse for people who don't want to fight. I suppose you may be correct, but... What's really important is to never give up, to have an indomitable will. Even if your legs are broken and your arms fall off, you have to fight to the end. That's just my style. A speech on willpower in this day and age? I did not know people still believed in such silly notions. Perhaps it was your thick skull that prevented my father's curse from affecting you. To be summoned by such an odd peasant, I must be cursed with the worst of luck. This human is a complete fool. Such a cretin must not be allowed to disturb my father. I shall have to kill him myself. Be prepared. All right, Dead Tree Field, I don't... Yeah, I think that's the one right before the boss stage. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and heal up. And after I'm done healing up, I'm going to go ahead and save this game. Do we get any goodies? We do not get any goodies. That's fine. And that's going to be all for this part. So thank you for watching, everybody. Until next time.